Thanks for clicking on the video guys, welcome back to another one. Um, I'm off to Somerset today to link up with Josh and film part two of the knife making process and the mini documentary series for the Storb knife, um, the bespoke knife that I'm having made for the channel. Um, yeah, I'm going to take you through the handle this time, so the handle being shaped up, bespoke to my hand, it's going to be a really good one. Let's get into it. So today's the day we're doing the handle, hence the masks. Um, we've got Josh uh, again from Avalon Bushcraft um, taking us through the micarta handle that I'm having done and the handle shaping process. So he's done his, he's done his dry fit, um, he's glued up and we're all ready to start shaping today. So let's get into it. Josh, take us through what you've done thus far. So mate, here's your, um, your finished, well not quite so finished uh, knife bit blocky at the moment so it's not not going to be probably the most comfortable thing to use <laughs> at the moment which is I guess why you're here today so we can make sure it fits your hand properly. What I've done basically is I've taken two um, sheets of my Carter G10 and then also the purple G10 liners that you can't quite see in here at the moment but you should be able to pick those up when the whole thing's polished and then I've uh, epoxied all these together mm -hmm. they've been sat for quite a while while I was sort of waiting to glue this up to see you. Um, then yesterday, I guess it was a case of um, flattening the whole thing out, making sure everything's flush perfectly, nice and neat and tidy. Everything's lining up correctly. Um, drilling the holes for the loveless bolts. So we've got a four mil hole through there and then an eight mil countersink, eight mil hole for all the lanyard tube. And then, yeah, just um, clamped it up overnight. And then this is the result today. So, Wicked. Yeah. Beautiful. Like I say, I've chosen um, purple liners here so that they sort of match the branding of the Storb logo. Um, it's going to be quite rare to see purple liners, um, especially G10. Um, so yeah, really, really looking forward to how this is going to shape out. So um, this is Josh's little uh, Avalon Bushcraft logo on that side, and then mine you'll see on the next video. Um, but basically we got them sent away to uh, to Ben over at um, Craft Lab Knives, Ben Orford, for laser etching. And you can see uh, the detail on that is beautiful. So did an absolutely fantastic job. Yeah, I'm super, super stoked to show everybody my logo. Um, it looks amazing. Working with my cart is a really, really messy process. So that's why we've got obviously PPE today, um, safety first and all that.
Josh and I have um, just come out into the sunlight just to look at it in some natural light, have a bit of a break from the uh, from the dust in there, and just um, really get used to how the minecart is um, shaping up uh, in the hand. So it's really, really good that obviously I've been able to come along and test it um, between each each sanding really and each shaping and each grit because that's something that's quite unique really isn't it to um to knife clients is actually getting the opportunity to physically be there in the making process totally i mean most people especially if they're over and from far away won't get that exactly get that opportunity yeah i'm really really privileged to uh to be doing this with you mate so yeah it's awesome. good fun as well man that my car is going to have such a killer grain it's, um, yeah you can already see look at this guys Those G10 liners are starting to pop already. Once um, once we take that up, get that up, up through 12, the grips, 1200 grit, and it's just going to be. Uh, and the nice thing about that micarta as well, yeah, um, that Ultra X stuff is it's it's going to give you some nice gripping. Yes. Um, on the because I remember you saying when you first we first um, sort of designing this uh, this conception, we were talking about <laughs> um, you wanted something that's going to be grippy in wet wet conditions. Definitely also super tough and. Yeah, yeah and durable. Yeah. So this is a linen micarta, isn't it? That's uh, yeah, that's a linen as opposed to a canvas, which is slightly tighter weave usually. Yeah. It's awesome. But yeah, it's so important in Britain to have it uh you know, grippy within wet weather, but also to have it durable yeah. when out in the field. So yeah, loving it. We were just saying that the belts um, on this particular one lend themselves to handle making really well because they've actually got a bit of um, a bit of give and a bit of play, as you can see there. With the handle um, being shaped there, the belt almost sort of has a bit of bounce in it, um, and it what that does is it enables Josh to actually feel and fine tune any high uh, profiles and platforms and just iron out any of those lines so that it's super smooth. So it's a really really fine art, we were just saying like how used to it Josh must have to be to to work his magic on it but you can see it's way worth it. It's getting there. It's shaping up lovely. Very nice on that belt. Yeah, this will bring it out to sort of how it's doing it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, So Josh has just taken the last little bits, um, the last little high scratches out of the uh, out of the handle, and then it's on to hand sanding. Um, so he's going to go down uh, the grits on on hand sanding. Basically, it's all going to be done by hand just to finish it off, give it a nice polish, um, and make sure that it feels really good in the hand. This is the process it takes forever basically, going from 180 to 1200 grit and then buffing it, so it's usually worth it. Yeah. You 
understanding like this as well will um, hopefully start to uniform the pattern a little bit so you really see what it's going to look like. Yeah, we'll see. Look at that pattern. So currently on 240 and it's already shaping up quite nicely. We were just saying that actually it's quite funny to see that um, this started off as a drawing <laughs> and now it's come to fruition, but we were just both saying, weren't we? We were really pleased with how it's shaping up and the profile. It's kind of gorgeous, mate. It's aesthetically perfect. Like it, It's the vision I had in terms of handle shape. It's literally how I had it in my head. So whatever I couldn't put down on piece down on paper is, is in the handle today, really. But that's the benefit of being here to, to test it, isn't it? Yeah, right, man. Uh, thank you so much for this, Josh. Yeah, it's fun. Looks awesome. It's really, really, really getting there, and it's you can see the finished article coming to life. Did it's get a all beautiful the knife. Off the top. The handle won't be totally, totally finished today. Um, I basically I wanted to come down for two. Uh, two parts of the making process to show you guys the two main parts of the the process the grinding process and then the handle shaping uh which josh has done here today so, so is there much more to go or we're about halfway through halfway through okay cool it does look nice but it's not finished yet Loads more to do, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at those purple liners. Now we can actually see them. They're beautiful, man. Alright, so the snow stopped. <laughs> this is um, where we leave the, uh, the knife in Josh's capable hands until next time. But it's just looking absolutely phenomenal. The... Um, the G10 and the Micarta and the shape and we've just had a bit of a play with it haven't we in the uh, yeah. the, the lovely garden here so it's working real nice yeah so confident in the hand and when you choke up nice up the top it just feels so right it's so nice to have a knife that actually like was made for my hands so yeah it's awesome but yeah stunning stunning tool here it is nearly nearly there just so pleased with it and how it how it handles and how it feels in the hand and you're an absolute artist mate so well done Cheers, buddy. and the um like i say the purple for me is just special it's something a bit different isn't it yeah it's sort of in keeping with your brand and all that it's, definitely it definitely pops as well and it's going to pop even more when we bring it out for grits wicked um i'm looking forward to seeing how it, how it looks at 1200 yeah <laughs> you know. nice yeah so what's left to do so Loads and loads and loads of hand sanding. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to put a slight convex on the apex of the edge, yeah. which is going to give you a bit of durability. Because when we're at a 20 degree Scandi, mm -hmm. with an AVL of a Rockwell 61, yeah. which is like decent hard, um, pretty tough still, but we still want to, just in case you're battling through knots and stuff like that, you okay. want to get slight edge rolls and all that sort of stuff. 
So we just want to. Don't want to lift loads of burrs on it or anything. Yeah, we want to beef that up very, very slightly. That's something I'll do on all of them. And then making your sheath. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So you're having a drop sheath. Drop yeah. sheath with um, fire steel loop. Fire steel loop. Like. Yeah, it's going to be on a D sort of dangler thing. So yeah, yeah, so yeah I like to wear mine as well. Works, yeah, works quite nicely when you're sort of moving around and like yeah. you put it in your pocket and sit down and all that. Like it more. But yeah, um, that's basically the plan oh, with this. Chunker, isn't it? It's huge. Out of, mate, all of the um, all the belt knives I make normally, this is the biggest. <laughs> Certainly handle size as well. Like, I mean, yeah. I haven't got massive hands, but I haven't got tiny hands either. It, you were saying it fits quite nicely in yours. It, like, it does you, fit nicely. You, on, like you can it. see how much it's sticking out. Whereas, like, mm -hmm. you've got shovels for hands. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's perfect. Yeah, it's for definitely you. my. Um, so it looks right in my hand. I think. It's, yeah. You know. Yeah. You don't want anything that's too baby no. when you've got big hands. So yeah, can't wait for the finished article, man. Beast, mate. It's, it, it looks like a chunk of it. It's us. I've yeah. played with just saying it's totally capable of doing fine work too. Yes. Yeah, we had a nice um, like choking up quite high and doing some detail work uh, with the uh, well, with both ends really the um, the the tip and and down at the cutting edge. So it's just performing really confidently and it feels so solid in the hand already. Um, like it's an extension of me, so that's great. Um, it, it's so nice to kind of just see all of the um, all of the, the talks back and forth and all of the ideas Pay that off. we've been sharing. Yeah, like, actually, in something that you're holding in your hand and is a physical a, thing. A physical in front thing. Of you. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, decent. I, I love this part of the process. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> next time it's going to be uh, fully completed. Yeah, man. So, so the next so. time you guys see it. Um, Josh is going to hand it over to me and we'll do the grand unveiling. You'll get to see the store logo, how that turned out um, from, from Ben as well. Um, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going to go on a nice little wild camp somewhere yeah. somewhere local. Um, yeah. Again, that's going to be a special one coming up soon. But um, it's going to be sweet. Yeah, decent little, uh, decent little wood, woodland spot. So check that one out. But yeah, thanks very much again, Dave. Very awesome. Absolute pleasure. Take it easy. <laughs> so it was so nice to catch up with Josh and do... Um, part two basically the sort of final sort of uh touches on the on the handle really so he's gonna take that away and do all the fine tweaks and make it all look spick and span for when uh when the grand unveiling is but it's been awesome catching up really really nice to see his work um like i say if you have liked this video at any point guys give it a little like below please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and i'll see you again on the next one Yo. Yo. Entering the planet, we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded and...